The Great Salt Lake is now more than four feet higher from when it hit record lows last year, and it's reaching another milestone in its recovery. ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner reporting from Box Elder County with the details this evening. Kate. The causeway, which is that straight line you see cutting through the lake behind me, actually separates the north and south arms of the lake from one another. And earlier this year, the state increased the berm by five feet to keep as much water in the south arm of the lake as possible. Well, thanks to an incredible winter, water is now spilling over that berm. The big sigh of relief for the lake. Sovereign Lands Program Administrator Ben Steyerman says the berm is doing its job, but even more so, Mother Nature. We didn't expect such a great winter back in January and February when we first started um, discussing this idea, but here we are. We had a great winter. Governor Cox issuing an executive order to raise the berm along the Union Pacific Causeway at the beginning of the year, temporarily cutting off the two sides from one another to keep as much water as possible in the south arm of the lake. The south arm as seen here is greenish in color and by raising water levels. Salinity has dropped. It was uh, at a high in November last year of about uh, 185 uh, grams per liter. And now we're down between about 140 and 150 grams per liter. Why is that important? Salinity is crucial for the ecosystem. There are many beneficial uses that rely on a healthy equilibrium of salinity, um, which is about 120 to 160 grams per liter uh, in the fall. So we want to start the season at a, at a lower salinity than that. And then after the progression of evaporation happens. We want to end up at about 120 to 160 grams per liter. In other words, if the South Arm were to get too salty, brine shrimp, brine flies, migratory birds, and industry that all rely on the lake could see devastating impacts. Steyerman says it's hard to predict just how much more the lake will rise, but... I think it'd be with fairly good confidence will we'll come up at least another two or three feet. Steyerman says this is definitely a time to celebrate, but says it's also a time to continue working forward to save the Great Salt Lake. Reporting from Box Elder County, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.